did you go to Harvard because the teachers were good? Hmm. And after you went to Harvard, did you learn more from your teachers or your classmates? So, Harvard is actually a Harvard Business School is a very interesting kind of education model because it is a combination of teacher to to student and peer to peer because every class is almost like a conductor with an to an orchestra where the conductor is only kind of which is the professor he gives you a case everybody has to read it before the class you assume everybody's read it it's usually a very interesting mm-hmm. case on a topic based on what the class is and they have you know millions of cases and then the professor has a road map of what he or she wants to get out of that discussion but he pushes different members of the class and because it's a very diverse class like for example on a case where you're talking about disney the media company there was a girl who was a child actress who became a very successful child actress and then a media executive and then came to harvard business school and had an interesting perspective to share with the rest of the class and likewise on other topics that's to me i learned a lot But more what was most course. valuable was it the network the classmates and what you learned off them or was it the teaching staff no, but like for him it would be different than for what it would be for a normal person no i i disagree no no but I, because the normal person is going there for an intent to eventually get a very high paying job in no. harvard i don't think i don't so. think no so. I don't think so. No, that wouldn't necessarily so. be the case. I think that uh that's normally a given by the yeah, time you're doing that. I think that for most people they already have some form of reasonable paying job before they come for an MBA because in the US unlike in India you don't do an MBA right after your undergrad it's usually anywhere from 3 to 6 years of work experience and because the school is so selective these folks tend to have gone to IITs mm-hmm. or you know very good schools mm-hmm. to then, begin then with what's the intent so the intent is to go to up level yourself into being a business leader and to being a a more well rounded professional and person but so what i had heard and hmm. maybe you can correct me if i'm wrong uh the most sought after jobs after h after somebody completes hps hmm. are private equity firms hedge funds uh venture capital that's firm. changing you're, you're 10 years quickly. behind yeah you're 10 years you're behind. the youngest of the lot but you're yeah. 10 years behind you're 10 years behind i would say i graduated 6 years ago uh-huh. and it had already started to change so what is it entrepreneurship uh software product management yeah uh, you're, you're you're hanging around you too know, much with investment bankers and management of course there is a, a large cohort of people that are going into private equity that are going into investment banking there is always you know those are important pillars but even of, there it's with an entrepreneurial mindset yeah, even yes. there it's with an entrepreneurial most mindset most people do that as a hey okay not that career mindset no but so so you are essentially saying that people are going into hps to become entrepreneurs but if you see the people who are like i don't think we should can, single it out yeah, in an hps manner i think it's manner, all of these kind of yeah. uh no but ronnie MBAs. like you and nikhil mentioned I mean you became entrepreneurs because of who you were and not because of the education you got. No no. No no, no not, not at, at all. all. It not was the all. same human emotions, greed, yeah. hunger, insecurity, exactly. all of yeah. that. Exactly. Exactly yeah. and not yeah. because of a college education. No no, the, the it's it, it's not an education as much as is that in a, it's an immersion into a, a pool of very interesting people and you go as a sponge That's and you come. That's actually the question I was asking yeah. you. Is that your biggest yes. take away from that? Yes. That hands down I See, would say. See as a leader you need to be a great catalyst. Mm-hmm. And I think what you just defined is the just networking being a phenomenal yeah. catalyst, right? you know, that ability yeah. to. Hi, I'm Nikhil Kamath. I'd love to know what you thought of the episode. Uh, comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching.